Hi guys, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going over my eye products and in this section I'm going to go over mascaras, eyeliners, brow products, um, cream liners, everything eye that isn't an eyeshadow or an eye palette will be here in this video. So we're going to start with my eye bases, I've got eye primers. And I do have a couple of other eye primers that I can't locate at the moment. No. So we're going to start with my eye primers. I have two here. I do actually have um, two other eye primers that I can't locate at the moment. And those are the um, Mark eye primers that come in a little jar like this. I do have two of those. Um, I also have my Revolution Prime and Lock Primer and my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I think there might even be a second one of these that I just can't locate. I remember seeing one, I just don't know where it is. Um, so those are my eye primers. I have a whole mess of mascara that I'm working my way through. Um, and by mess, I, I, I almost literally mean mess. I have a lot of sample sizes, I a lot of full size ones, yes. I have a lot of sample size ones. I have one from Smashbox, is the super fan. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, I have the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, which I haven't tried either. Um, I have a Sumptuous Extreme from Estee Lauder. This is like my most favouritest mascara ever. We have the Chubby Lash from Clinique. Really like the Chubby Lash. It, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I have two sample sizes of the Clinique High Impact, which I do actually really like this mascara. It's a lovely workhorse mascara. I wouldn't personally buy it, but if I get it for free, awesome. Um, the Clarins Super Volume Mascara, Supra Volume, sorry, Mascara from Clarins. I haven't tried this, so I don't know what it's like. Um, I think that's it for samples. I have a Maybelline Great Lash, perfect classic mascara. I have one from number seven. This is the Lash Impact Lash Primer, and this is like a black primer. Um... It's okay. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Um, these are two that I'm just going to show and move because these are in a project pan right now. This is my Clinique High Impact Full Size and Avon 5-in-1 Lash Genius. I like the, I like both of them actually. Um, again, I didn't pay for this one. It was a gift for purchase and um, this one was um, like a rep sample uh, for being an Avon lady back in the day um, so yeah I'm working on those ones those two at the moment and then I've got the rest of this to work through so I will quickly run through these ones these are two that I oh no there's a third a third sample of high impact from Clinique these three are currently open so I'm, again I'm going to keep these ones separate I have a mark phenomenal vol big and phenomenal volume a super shock definition and a classic super shock volume mascara and these are my closed mascaras and I don't think this is it I'm pretty sure I have more in a drawer that I can't reach at the moment um, so yeah we have the 2000 calorie waterproof mascara from Max Factor in black brown I have one from Aura Flame this is the the one instant extensions mascara. As you can see, it still has the plastic on, so I don't know what it's like. Um, but on the whole, I have enjoyed Aura Flame products. I have used a few of them. Now let's get these sorted. I have two Max. Um, I have two Maybelline Colossal Go Extremes. That I got as gift with purchases from Boots. I have three of these Color Trend 
Turbo Lash Mascaras from Avon. These are freaking phenomenal. I adore them. I'm, I'm, I am actually kind of sad that these are discontinued because these were a bomb mascara. I have four of the Volume Max from um, Avon Super Shock. Again, bomb mascara. I really enjoy those. I have three of the classic volume from Super Shop. Um, I have one big and multiplied volume from Mark, which I haven't tried yet. And this one is a big and extreme volume. Is that the same one? No, this is the orange one. This is the big and extreme volume from Mark. And then I have this little one. Um, this is in black brown. It's a true colour, super length nourishing mascara, which again has its plastic on, so I don't actually know what it's like as yet. And those are the mascaras. Here we have all my brow products. There is a lot of brow products here. Um, I have one, two, three, four coloured brow gels. I have one from Avon, the Lion's Mane, one from L'Oreal, the Brow Arts Plumper, which I've been told is getting discontinued, so I might. I know I have these, but I adore this the most, so I might buy backups of this one if it's getting discontinued just until I find a replacement we'll see this one is from the XX revolution and this is the brow cara from oral flame don't know if this has fibers in it or not I've not actually used it um, and then I have two clear um, brow gels I have one from max factor and one from XX revolution I have one brow powder. This is from Elizabeth Arden. It's possibly, possibly my oldest brow product. Um, I love this thing. It is such amazing value. You get it's it's only two two point seven grams, and I think this costs like fifteen pounds or something. Um, it's expensive for what it is, but at the same time, I've had this for at least ten years, and it's you know it just keeps going and going. I mean, admittedly, if I used it every day, it wouldn't be lasting 10 years, but it would last a slight bit longer than these pencils. Um, I have a wax crayon from Natural Collection. This is the Brow Tidy. I freaking adore it. It is often out of stock, but if you can get your hands on it, get it. I have two unopened brow products. Uh, this is a brow powder like this one. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of them, but there you go. And this one is a glimmer stick um, brow pencil, of which I have a further four, four glimmer stick brow pencils all together. Yay! I have two number seven ones that I'm working on one in blonde, one in dark brown, which is almost finished. Um, I have two Rimmel pencils, which these may be my oldest brow pencils. Um, I think they're both the same shade. One is in black brown and the other one is in dark brown. So there we go. I also have one from L'Oreal. This is the Brow Artist pencil in, I think, dark brunette. Um, I have a Avon dual ended brow pencil it says dual ended it's literally just got a spoolie on the end it's hardly dual ended um but again in dark brown and i have three of the mark brow pencils um in various shades of brown dark brown and then i have one from the xx revolution this is the faux brow um in deep brown and this is like a triangular one whereas all the others are like pencil type products 
Um, I have one brow soap. This is from by Beauty Bay. It was a gift with purchase dealie. Um, I do also have a bar of pear soap, which I use to do soap brows with. And I do also have a, actually two jars, two jars of hair wax um, for my brows as well. So I am dead set for brow shaping products. And I also have these three brow pomades. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow, which has a fair amount left in it. I have the Freedom, which is an old Makeup Revolution brand, which has about a, the same amount left. I really just need to work on those two and get them used up. And then we have the XX Revolution Brow Pomade, which eh, still looks pretty good. I'm not sure, I can't quite tell if it's drying away from the sides. I don't think it is but it may be close to it. But again, as you can see, I haven't used it, so yeah. And those are all my brow products. Tell a lie, that wasn't all of my brow products. I do also have two other gel liners. These are from MARC. I have one in deep brown and one in soft brown. So as I say, I won't be needing to buy brow products for like the next decade. <sighs> next up we have my pop shadows. So I have two colour tattoos left. This one is in Everlasting Navy. And this one is in Metallic Pomegranate, which there isn't a whole lot left of that one. I have one from Benefit in My Two Cents. Wow, that is looking dry, huh? <laughs> I have one from Revolution. This is from the Revolution Pro range in the shade Organza. I actually really love this and wouldn't mind picking up a few other shades, to be honest. Because this is just so beautiful and easy to use. And then we have my MAC paint pots, which I love and really should use more. So really I should use these more instead of purchasing the Revolution ones. But here we go. We have the shade Indian Wood. Vintage Selection, which is like my absolute fave. This is like life to me. Uh, Antique Diamond, which is more greeny. Taylor Grey. Frozen Violet. Stormy Pink. Let Me Pop, again, another favourite of mine. Love this shade. It's actually kind of similar to the Colour Pop, the, um, the Organza one. Well, in Reflex, anyway. We have Camel Coat. And Rubenesque. I really, really should use those guys a lot, lot more. I have three liquid shadows. These are all from L'Oreal. These are L'Oreal Eye Paints. We have the shades Keep On Khaki. Uh, breast, that came out weird. Breathtaking Brown. And Nudist. Again, I really, really need to use these more. I need to use generally all of my makeup more. That's, 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 that's the general consensus from here. Um, we have pot liners here. Oh, 
I'll start off with the mark ones, get them out of the way. We have the shade Navy. Uh, plum. Uh, black. Brown. Silver. Well, the Lord knows when I'm actually going to use silver. And we have gold. I have two Maybelline ones. This is in the shade brown. And we have black, which I think may just need replacing, to be honest. Um, you also have a black from Rimmel, which is a stunning, stunning black. But I'm not sure if this one might be a bit dried out. I will have to go through them off camera and check them out. These are all sealed. Um, we have the black Inglot shade in 77. We have 74, which is a... Can you see how purple that is? It's gorgeous. Um, I have the brown in 90. And the green in 86. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this one was in 86. It's a gorgeous emerald green. I did kind of fancy getting this in the orange shade. Um, but I stopped myself. <laughs> um, next up we have liquid liners or liquid and pen liners. So these are the liquid liners that I own. I have a sample size of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I have two NYX black liners, one in matte, one in vinyl. I have two from number seven, uh, one in navy and one in emerald. No, bright green it's called, but it's basically an emerald green. I used to love the number seven liquid liners they used to come in uh the well used to be this size but the handle used to be a bit shorter and it used to be a long brush tip applicator but now it is turned into this bizarre felt tip that has a tip on its tip and i don't love it i don't love it i only keep these ones because of the colors and then i have these um liquid pens that i'm working my way through um these are the Mark Tattoo liners. We have a brown one, a blue one, a black one, and a green one, and a purple one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work my way through these ones. They have a bizarre like eraser on the other end. It doesn't really work. Uh, so I'm going to try and get these used up as soon as possible, get them out of my stash. And those are all my liquid liners. Next up we have my actual pencil liners and there are just so, so many. Um, I only have four high-end liners. I have chocolate from Clinique, Emerald from Estee Lauder and Coffee from Estee Lauder and this is Gold from Clarins and it is beautiful and I love all four of them. I have one from Bourgeois in Purple, uh, Purple Night and two from NYX. These are the slide on glide on ones but I think these have been discontinued now. Um, I do have two other NYX ones that I can't locate at the moment. Um, this is Golden Olive and this one is in uh, some unknown shade. Bronze, Golden Bronze, Golden Olive and Golden Bronze. I have a sort of pine green one and I also have a really dark brown one, but they're not here. I know I own them, I know they are in existence, but they are not currently present. So yeah. <laughs>
Um, the rest of my eyeliners are Avon ones. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of those to go through. These are the big paint. Um, the big paint gel, big gel paint pencils. Um, they used to be called Super Shock pencils. They were made very popular by uh, the Pixie Boo sisters. So we have a black one, a purple. I have two of the tropical teal. Um, I think I have two. Is one of them, are they both brown or is one bronze? Oh, I've knocked the lid off that one. Oopsies. Um, rich copper. Yeah, they're both rich copper, both brown. It says rich copper, but they're basically brown. And then the last one here is cobalt, a lovely blue. We have another purple one here then I have this guy which is a one of the big skinny ones and these are the basically the same former formula in a retractable and this is in brown and then I have a wad of these guys these are the glimmer sticks there's a mix of glimmer stick brights regular glimmer sticks and uh, glimmer stick diamonds um, this is this is a glimmer stick brights and it's like a matte it's not super bright to be honest um and i'm not going to sit here and go through every single shade there is a bunch of black ones a bunch of brown ones a lot of coppery bronzy navy blue is a popular shade that i like um but there are just so many of them Look at them all. Look at them. There's so, 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 so many of them. So, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and go through them all. And lastly today, we have my shadow pencils. And by golly, there is a crap ton of those. So I have four Laura Mercier little mini caviar sticks. We have Tuxedo, which is black. Aubergine, which is a sort of shimmery. Oh, it's actually more of a cream finish purple. Um, rose gold. And Amethyst. Again, I'm not going to sit here and swatch these all out or even open them all because that would just take a lifetime. I have a whole bunch from number seven. These are the Stay Perfect Shade and Define Shadow Pencils. I think these have been repackaged and are now in white packaging, but they're basically the same shades. I have a limited edition one in Precious. They're basically the shade that they look like on the lids, to be honest. So we have Precious, we have a golden copper, which I think this is the one I'm almost finished with, actually. Yes, that's all I have left of golden copper. Um, we have Glistening Ray. This one is a Coffee Bean. It's a beautiful shimmering brown. A Velvet Truffle, which is a cool tone brown. A cool Mink, which is perfect for under taupe shades. A deep Purple, which the name would suggest is purple. Ooh. Uh, pink Pearl. I know I said I wouldn't open them all, but yeah. Pink Pearl. And Black Shimmer. The shimmer is almost non-existent once it gets on your eyes, though. The only thing this range is missing is if it, they could come out with, like, some sort of khaki or an emerald green or some sort of navy. That would be awesome. Or if they had, like, a lilac shimmer, that would be beautiful, too. I have a bunch of Clinique Chubby Sticks, all in beautiful shades. Uh, this one is in Ample Amber. We have Fuller Fudge. These are my oldest too, that's why they have absolutely no writing on them. Uh, this is Lotso Latte, and it's a gorgeous sort of light brown shimmer. Uh, Mighty Moss. 
Whopping Willow. Yeah, Whopping Willow, which I love this one. It is beautiful. I want to use it more. And this one, which is just, it's so kind of cool. It's Bountiful Beige and it is just sort of a, it's a lovely sort of blanking out shade. Um, again, I need to I need to get on these and get them used up before they dry out entirely. I have some NYX shadow sticks. Um, the only one I don't have, which I really, 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 really wish I did, is milk. I some for some reason got rid of milk. Oh, I feel like such a moron. Uh, so we have cobalt, which is a beautiful blue. We have sparkling leopard, which is sort of a reddishy copper. The lid is cracked and smooshed, but it's a beautiful reddish copper. Uh, this is purple. It's more of a blue purple, like a dark lilac-y violet, dark violet. Um, this is cashmere. It's a light golden shade. This is sparkling nude and it is a like light bronze. Uh, this is sparkling green. It's more of like a piney forest green. We have pure gold, which is beautiful. And rust, which is a gorgeous red colour. The only other shade I wish I still had was iced mocha. I freaking loved iced mocha. It was stunning, stunning, stunning. The dark brown in this range, again, stunning. The black, it was intense, but it was a damn good tacky black base. Those are like the four I wish I still had. Mm. 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 Oh, my decluttering regrets. I have three from Kiko, which are just beautiful. Kiko is so underrated. We don't have Kiko anymore in Aberdeen. It closed down and turned into a freaking stationery shop that is just so pretentious. It's beyond belief. Um, so I have the shade number seven. That's how much we used of it because I have to scroll up so much. It is beautiful. Uh, we have the shade 25, which is more of a sort of creamy sort of shade. I may do a video in the near future where I swatch out all of my cream shadows rather than just showing them because if I did that in this video, it would just take too long. And then this is the shade 04, which is more of a, it's sort of a creamy black, but it also has a, a creamy brown, I mean. But it also has a nice shimmer to it as well. But Kiko liners are just beautiful. And the rest are Avon ones. Um, I have three of these um, show glow ones. What shade is this one? flickering pink. So I have two of the flickering pink. Do they have the names on them? Yes. So this is flickering pink. Oh beautiful. And then we have flickering gold which is one that's sold out constantly because everybody loves gold. I have one from Mark. This is um, their Crayon Contour Pencil in Naturally Nude. It's very similar to Bountiful Beige from Clinique. And then these are the... Um, oh no, I missed the number 7 one. This is the shade Gunmetal Grey. Kind of could be used with navy blues and such, but I would prefer true navy blue, personally. But these are the eye enhancing crayons from Avon, and I have a double set of them. Yeah, a double set. So I have two of Night Glisten, and this is a sort of matte black. It has some shimmer in it, but not really. We have two of Green Dream, which I do love green base, so I'm not mad at having doubles of those. I have two of the uh, Soft Peach. Again, it's a nice sort of base shade, very similar to the colours at the bottom here. 
these next colours I'm going to show you, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them. This is slate, it's sort of like a matte grey colour. And then we have two of blue smoke. Again, it's like a dark grey colour. I don't wear a whole lot of grey, so I don't really know what to do with these. These ones, however, I will swatch this one because this is interesting. These are Mocha Flash. It's sort of a matte. It has a slight reflect to it. It's sort of grey, but it also has a green shift to it. These are interesting. I quite like these. Like a greyish brown with a green shift. So I have two of those. I quite like those. I have two of the purple. Which I don't have much in this shade of purple, so I'm quite happy to have those. Uh, this is another soft peach, so I have three of the soft peach. And then I have two of the chocolate, which is a gorgeous metallic brown. And love these. Love them so much. And that is all of my non eyeshadow eye products. So, so many. So, so many. Um, yeah. But I, I will possibly do um, a video swatching out all of my shadow pencils and shadow pots. Um, if that is of interest to anybody. Because um, a lot of this is still available, I think. I know most of the NYX shadows are, the number 7 shadow sticks are, the Clinique shadow sticks are, uh, the Avon ones. I know everyone has their feelings about Avon. I like them. I like Avon products and it's fun. Um, well, it's nice to support um, your mum friends that are, you know, trying to make a little extra for Christmas because that's mostly, that's mostly the type of people that do Avon. They're mostly mums that are just trying to make a little extra for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's a whole other video in and of itself. <laughs> uh, so my feet have gone numb. So yeah, I'm going to go put these all away and get the next, the next segment ready. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was an okay shot. Um, I'm a bit out of practice for filming these. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.